Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm so happy to be with you here today. Today is Thursday, and this is the second weekly Facebook Live I do. I come live every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m., and I then take this um, live broadcast, and I download it to YouTube, and I also save the recording on Facebook. So whether you're here with me live or whether you're watching the replay or on YouTube, I'm really happy that you're here with me. I'm gonna take just a moment to see if anybody else is going to join us live, and that gives me an opportunity to make sure all of my devices are syncing and everything is good. Uh, we are still in the celebration period and I'm gonna be featuring this gorgeous, gorgeous piece or stack of designer series papers. And hey, Lisa, I'm glad you're here with me today. So um, this is a set of papers that is free with a $50 order and it is Probably this and the stylish sketches. Let me grab that. Um, where'd it go? These are my two favorite items that you can get with a $50 order. And actually you can get them both together, you know, with a $100 order. And that is gonna give you a lot of opportunities for some amazing stamping. Okay, Kim is here, Laura's here, yay, yay. I'm just going to write down my host code really quick because that's the one thing I wanted to share with you that I forgot to write down before I came live. So, you know, when I give you a host code, it's so that if you decide to place an order, if you use my host code, then you get free gifts. So, um, I do offer free gifts at every, um, you know, even if you place a $10 order, you're gonna get some free tutorials. And as your orders go up, then I'm able to give you um, bigger gifts. And of course, right now, you get a free uh, item with every $50 you spend because we are in the celebration period. Okay, so Sue Ann's here from Indiana, and I saw Lena, and I saw in San Antonio, Charlene is here, and Marlene is here in New Braunfels. All right, we got a good group getting together. Okay, let me write down this host code and we are gonna get stamping. We're actually gonna do a little bit different today. This is my simple stamping day. Okay, W-U-H. Um, and we are gonna do simple stamping, but we're going to jazz it up a little bit. We're actually gonna make four cards today. And I'm gonna show you how quick and how easy it is to do that um, because most of the time I feel that if you're gonna make one card, you might as well make two. And that way you have one for whatever it is that you're, get, you're needing to make a card for. And then you also have one at the ready. You have one in your stash. And it also helps you to build your stash so that you're always prepared for any occasion, including gift giving. So let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, all the devices. So this is the soft side of the paper, believe it or not. <laughs> and this is the stronger side of the papers. And what I'm gonna show you is we're gonna, I'm gonna choose this piece right here, and we're gonna make four cards with this one piece of six by six designer series paper. Now I'm going to put them all on so, so saffron card bases, and I'm gonna make two cards with each piece of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. I've got my paper trimmer here, and what I'm gonna do is, I always like to score my cards before I cut them. I just find that that makes things a whole lot easier. And so I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna line this up on my paper trimmer at four and a quarter. I'm gonna take my lighter colored um, blade because the lighter color tells me it has a lighter touch. So that's gonna give me just a score line and I do like to do it a couple of times, make sure I've got a score, I can see it. Now I'm gonna turn it the opposite way and I'm going to cut it at five and a half. Now that's gonna give me two traditional card bases. So now I have two card bases, boom. 
Now I'm gonna do two more card bases, and this time I'm gonna score at five and a half, which is just, you know, again, this is just the halfway point of an 11 inch, this is 11, but now I'm gonna score it this way, and then I'm gonna turn it to the short side, I'm gonna bring it to four and a quarter, and I'm going to cut straight down the middle. Now I have two card bases that are gonna be a top fold, okay? So now I have my four card bases. Now before I put my trimmer away, uh, thank you for those of you who are sharing my, my video. I really appreciate that, whether you share it live or whether you share it on video, it really helps, or on um, replay, that really helps me. So I've taken a six by six piece of designer series paper, and this is from the Nature's Prints. I think that's the name of it. No, <laughs> Ringed with Love. Ringed with Love, I believe is the name of the paper. And this is only half the pack. You know, you, get, you do get two of each of these. So you could make, this is a great way to make, you could make your Christmas cards this way because you've got this poinsettia design, lots of fall designs. You could do, I think this house one makes great miss you cards. Uh, congratulations. Look at those gorgeous fall leaves. This is my favorite piece, the birds. And then you have all of these as well. So the two pieces I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use mainly, this is gonna be my focal point, but I'm also gonna use some of this for my background. So let me show you the cuts we're gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna take the six by six, I'm gonna cut it in half at three by three, okay? So now I have these two even pieces. Now, one of these I'm gonna take and just cut in half again, and that's gonna give me a three by three piece to work with. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to cut it at the diagonal so that I have some kind of fancy looking pieces to work with. Now it shifted just a wee bit on me and I don't want it shifted. So I'm just lining up the point right here. Let me move it down a little bit so I'm in the camera. Moving, I'm putting that point right in the little trough there, okay? Now, so now I have this piece, so that's gonna be card number two. Now I'm going to take my six by three piece. I'm gonna cut it in half. So this is gonna be for cards number three and four. Now the first one, I'm going to just cut one inch, and then I'm gonna cut one inch, and then I have one inch. Now, I have three three by one inch pieces. I'm going to stack them so that they are exactly the way they were before I cut them, because that way they're gonna give me a really cool uh, split panel design, and that's what I want. And then my fourth one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into four even squares. So I'm gonna cut it at one and a half. This is a three by three piece. I'm cutting it at one and a half. And then I'm going to cut one and a half this way. Because again, I want these to stay together, okay? I want the pattern to stay together. So I'm just gonna keep them like that. My paper trimmer really allows me to do that very easily. And if you're wanting all the measurements for this, you're gonna want to make sure that you are a newsletter subscriber for my Sweet Stamper newsletter because I'm gonna be releasing this tonight on my newsletter and I'll give you all of the measurements, okay? Now, I think we're done with the, with the paper trimmer because I did a little bit of trimming ahead of time just to save time for the, um, once we put it together. So here I have my top fold and I'm gonna do these side by side. Okay, so I've got two top fold cards and I'm going to take and put a five and a quarter by four inch piece of this really pretty watercolor wash background. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And I'm just gonna put this down with a little bit of seal. Now you see, I could go this way and get a totally different look, but this is a little bit strong to go with this. I would need to go with a different side. 
So I wanted to key in on, well, my two favorite patterns in this whole, I, I actually love all the patterns in this. Um, you can make some really great Christmas cards with this little layout. Super simple. You know, that's what we do on Thursdays is we do simple card making. This is actually perfect. My fold's a little bit off there. Um, this is perfect. If you're a brand new card maker, this is a perfect way for you to get going with your card making. You know, this is this paper's free with a $50 order. And so you can get $50 of basic supplies, including your paper trimmer. You definitely want to get your paper trimmer and a set of... Um, you could get like the, um, this is so saffron paper. If you get the subtles, you get a few, sh two sheets of each of the subtles colors. So you get these softer colors, get you really nice and set up for some basic card making. So there we have our two, um, Okay, so Lisa said she needs to do more multiples of cards. Yeah, I think we all need to do that more, to be honest, because we get a beautiful card, and then we, we send it, we mail it, and we're like, okay, what was I, what do I need to do next? Honestly, sometimes, especially when I first started card making, I would send one, and I would keep one for my file. So let's go to our piece here, and what I've done is I've done a three and a quarter by three and a quarter mat, Look at there. I think that's looking pretty cool. And I'm just going to mount this like so. Super easy. I am gonna run a little bit of ribbon. So these are gonna be four cards that are going to have a similar pattern and theme. This is the Metallic Edge Cotton Ribbon. I love it because it has, uh, it's not quite white and it's not quite vanilla. It's a natural and it just is got the perfect little bit of shine. Um, let me grab some ribbon scissors. Where'd they go? Well, <laughs> ah, here we go. This is, I've got a big class heading out the door tomorrow. So we've been doing a lot of, a lot of prep work in here. So now I'm just going to take this piece of ribbon, run it around, tie it on the side over here, and I'm just gonna do a simple little square knot, like so. I banged up my finger on a blade today in the kitchen, the ninja blade, <laughs> taking it out of the cabinet, and I cut myself, so. Not one of my smoothest moves, but you know, it happens. Now, this is going to pop right on here like so. And I kind of like that knot right there. And you see how when you open the card, look how pretty. So you get that kind of luxury feel on the inside. And this is a light color, so I'm not even gonna put a panel on the inside to write with, because this is just fine the way it is. Now, let's pop this up on dimensionals, and then we're gonna put a greeting on here and boom, I'm gonna be done. Now this, again, this would make a great little gift because I'm gonna do all four of these as thank yous and who doesn't need thank you cards? You know, I think that when you have a lot of thank you cards, you tend to give them and send them more. Um, you know, when people are doing things for you, when people are just kind, um, we give them out more freely when we have them in our handbag. Oh, Betty's here and Diane is here. Thank you, thank you for being here and for loving what I'm sharing. Now, I'm gonna bring in some um, crumb cake cardstock. There's a little bit of brown here and it's soft suede and I think this is gonna be a nice touch. This is that new lasting label punch. Yeah, this was part of my free online card class last month and I really love this. It's actually part of a bundle and I think if you're, you know, if there's a bundle, I wanna use the bundle because why not? Um, I do need some ink. And again, I'm just gonna go with the um, soft suede here. Just keep it soft. And I'm using Biggest Wish. I wanted to have, this is all really soft and really delicate. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go with something bold for the, um, something bold for the, um, the greeting. 
So let's just go, and I might as well do all four of these at the same time. So here we go with thanks. And see how nicely that fits? Isn't that brilliant? And again, that is the last lasting label punch. Voila. I think that's gonna fit the bill very nicely. And then I've got one more little something that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna see how the other cards come together with a slightly different changing up the way we've cut the designer series paper to give a little bit of nice variety. Okay, well that's two done. Well, you know what? Okay, concentrate candy. <laughs> Let's get two more done. And then we'll close up that ink pad and not have to worry about my cards landing in it. I don't know about you, but I'm dangerous with an open ink pad because um, yeah, I'll end up putting something in it by accident or even just kind of, um, you know, your card can just kind of inadvertently catch the corner and then you've got a bunch of brown ink on the side of your So Saffron card, which would not be very attractive at all. So let's do it this way. And again, I'm using So uh, Soft Suede ink on Crumb Cake cardstock. Okay. There we go. Now let's put this aside and we are ready for finishing touches on card number one. And then these others are going to come together even quicker. I think I'm just going to put it right in the center. Yep, I think it's just going to go right in the center. And I'm probably going to put a glue dot there so that that doesn't move around on me. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that on. I think I'm just going to do it straight since this little panel is already on dimensionals. So I'm gonna do that right smack in the middle. And then, you know what I'm gonna dress it up with? These little heart pearls. I don't know if you guys have discovered these yet, but they're really, really pretty. They come in um, a matte finish, white, pearly, pearly white, and then kind of a shiny white. So let's see, what shall we do? Let's go with this little plain white. Oh, look at there. Doesn't that look sweet? And then I'm gonna do another plain white. Um, oh, let's see, right here. And then one of these little ones right down here. So there, very sweet. Okay, thanks, all ready to go. Now, let's do card number two, top fold again. And this time we are going to take our sliced, our diagonal sliced. And again, I'm going to take, oh, let's see. I have, um, this is three, three inch by three inch. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So let's just give it a little matte finish. Help it to stand out. And I got that over a little bit too far. Let's bring that. This is a micro layer. This is a 1 8 inch layer because we cut it in half. So this is a nice tight layer. And you see how that just brings out my paper, helps it to stand out. Here we go. Hey, Car Carol is here. Carol Schaefer, welcome, welcome. Hey, Mary, I'm glad you're here today, too. And Pam has joined us. Wow, I've been looking down, concentrating, and folks have joined the party. So now, let's see which way my pattern goes. That's right. You see how my pattern goes like that. And all I'm going to do here is let's pop these up on dimensionals. Here we go. And again, this is all done with a simple six by six piece of designer series paper. Now you could put on the, uh, you know, to kind of give a little bit of something to um, uh, give a little bit of interest on this back piece. I've put another piece of designer series paper. You could also just put a piece of contrasting cardstock there. You could also put a piece of contrasting cardstock that's been run through uh, with an embossing folder, anything like that is going to look really, really nice. Now, this is going to be centered like so. And this is going to be centered like so. 
and that gives us a really nice bit of interest. Am I even? Am I straight? I think I am. And now, look what happens when I put my thank you right there. It just has a totally different look. Here's card number one. Here's card number two. This is a little bit fancier by just adding that little slice through there. And so I'm going to, once again, I'm just gonna put this flat. Um, well, let's go ahead and pop it up a little bit more. It will still go for a single stamp. You know, you don't have to worry too much about your dimensionals. I mean, you don't wanna do like four layers of dimensionals, but two layers will still work. So there is my thanks. Now, do I wanna put a little bit of ribbon on? Maybe, let's try a little bow and see what happens. Again, this is the cotton, I think it's called Metallic Edge Cotton Ribbon. Um, it's really pretty. And I love just that little bit of shine. Just that wee bit of silver on there just gives it a nice little bit of shine. So let's take this little bow and see if we have a place for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is going to do very, very nicely. So let's grab a mini glue dot. And I might just put an extra one on there for good measure, because this cotton, you know, cotton has a little bit more, um, needs a little bit more adhesive sometimes than your, um, your polyester ribbon. So there's card number one and card number two. Let's add a little heart here because we can. And I'm just going to take this. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Let's just do that. Let's just add these little hearts like so, because you know that word is bold enough that you can still see. I don't know, maybe that's a little bit too busy. I'll, I would love to hear a little bit of feedback from you. Yeah, I think they kind of look like the it has the chicken pox. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. One was probably just right. Does that look like something? Yeah, it looks like something got stuck on it. Oh, now here we go. You know, sometimes it's all about the placement. Let's just go one, two, three little hearts. Three little hearts in a row. I like that better. Okay, so there's card number one and card number two. Now we are going to go with our... Um, Oopsie, I'm messing that up. We're gonna go with these two, and you can see how this really, yeah, it does, yeah, Carol, you're right, it doesn't really need that. It was a little bit too much. So here we're gonna go with these two, and we are going to use the smaller pieces that we have cut on these two cards. Now, again, I've done a little bit of um, background paper, so, Let's try this. So this is just a two inch piece that I'm putting across here. Yeah, you know, sometimes um, less is more. And I do think that when you're doing um, designer series paper like this, where you have a lot of interest from the paper itself and the cuts that you don't need a lot. Um, can I get that straight? Not quite. Let's go like that. I think we're straight now. Okay. Now this time I'm gonna take these three that I've put and they are in the order that they were originally done. And um, because I want that look, I want it to have a continuous look. I, I don't want it to look haphazard. Now this time I'm gonna mat these. These are three by one. So I'm putting them on a little, um, three and a quarter by one and a quarter piece of cardstock. And I am using the Poppy Parade because it's nice and bold and really helps keep this from getting too soft. And if anybody is here for the very first time, I'm so doubly happy you're here, but I love everybody who comes. I love my regulars. And I would love for you to come back. Again, I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday at four uh, central. And then um, of course that is all recorded, downloaded to YouTube as well. So there, let's see how this is going to come along. Look at there. 
Now I've got a totally different look. Totally different look, but I do like it. And this time, because I've got these three, I'm gonna put these flat. I don't, where's my ribbon? I might go right across the middle like that. Oh yeah, this is coming together nicely. You know, I do for, if you're new here, you need to know something about me, and that is that I typically, um, I typically design on camera. So I have an idea of where I wanna go, but I don't actually get there. Um, I'm looking for my other ruler until, I don't actually get there until I get on camera with you. So I had a little idea, as you can tell by putting together these um, pieces here. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this first some kind of a little something on there. Um, I want to go right smack in the middle here. And I was looking for, I actually have a centering ruler. I didn't put it back where it belongs as usual. So this needs to be at two and three quarters, right there. And Two and three quarters is there. There we go. Okay. So once you get the center one done, the others can fall into place quite easily. Yeah, Beverly, you like crafting on the fly too. That just works better for me. You know, I've tried being really, you know, organized and then I can't remember what I had decided. And yeah, I'm kind of a stream of consciousness stamper. Oh, Geraldine, thank you. I'm glad you like my ideas. So I'm putting these kind of close together, but that's so that I have a larger piece of um, the designer paper here. And now this is going to go, I think, about like here. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna run a piece of ribbon all the way around because I can and because it's gonna give just a nice little bit of interest. And I can already tell I need to just say less is more and don't put any pearls on because I think this is gonna be enough. Okay, so let's bring this right around. And I think because I'm gonna put my tag over here, I think that I'm just gonna put my knot right here on the center of this panel. So this has given me a three little panels, little mini panels of designer series paper with a contrasting piece in the background. That is kind of laying funny, which means, now you see, you see how that's doing? It's doing funky things and I don't like that. So I need it to lay flat. So what I'm gonna do is come along here. I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot I'm gonna stick it on the back there, and then wherever I put this, it's gonna stay. So now I can be confident that it's gonna lay flat, and that looks really, really good. Now, so, yes, yeah, so uh, Lisa likes doing the strips on the cards too. So I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dimensionals here and here, because the, uh, the ribbon is already giving me a little bit of a lift dimensionals. Here we go. So you can see I am on card number three and I did a few hellos and I was a couple of minutes late. So we are in for about 30, not even 30 minutes yet. And I even cut the card bases on camera. So I think we're doing really well with our time. That's look, needs another dimensional. It's going a little wonky on me. I don't like, you know, if you're gonna use dimensionals, you want it to sit up proud. You don't want it kind of going off in funky directions on you. Okay, that's, that's doing it, so I like that a lot. So here's card number one, here's card number two, here's card number three, which I think might be my favorite. And now we are going into home stretch with card number four. And now I have my itty bitty squares. I think they're in the right order still. Oop. <laughs> Let's see, Candy got off track, so let's see. Um, well, you know, this is like a little puzzle. I will say I don't think they look bad together, but, oh, that goes there, no? Lord have mercy, 
now I'm going to feel like an idiot. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. No. You know, we're just going to go with it because I could sit here all day. You can tell I haven't done a jigsaw puzzle in a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on a piece of three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, this is um, Poppy Parade. It's going to bug me. <laughs> it's going to bug me, but I don't think I can quite get it to come together. We're going to go with that. Okay. I don't think it matters too much because my pattern is small, so I think I can get away with it. And these should line up very nicely with a one quarter, um, or actually a one eighth. I think when I was doing that, the one with the triangles, I think that's like a sixteenth. So let's just go with these. The two with the biggest flowers go side by side, Corinne's telling me. Okay, let me see if I can figure that out. These two. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Awesome. See, listen, listen to what folks are telling you on camera and you can't go wrong. Okay, I like that. Perfect. And then, oh, you know what? We are in a major drought here and I hear rain. Pitter pattering on my windows, which is an absolutely fabulous sound. Well, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little more by way of another, ay, 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 come on. Let me get, ah, oh, there it went, okay, now it's there. Now I'm gonna add another layer this time, look at there. It looks like a little window pane, doesn't it? So now I've got four little mini squares and I've just got four totally different cards out of one piece of one piece of six by six designer series paper. This is gonna give me just a little bit of interest back here and let's put this down nicely. Sound of rain. I tell you, we haven't heard that much here in South Central Texas. Man, it has been a dry and hot summer. So that is a fabulous, fabulous sound. This is going to go here. I don't think I'm going to put any ribbon there. I might do. Oh, look at there. I mean, that just kind of comes together. <laughs> Boom. Done. I could go here, but I think I'm going to go right in the middle. So let's pop this up on dimensionals. And again, make sure that you have subscribed to my Sweet Stamper email news. I will put the link on here when I'm done so that if you're not already there, um, you get on there. And I am going to give the uh, dimensions for all of this in my news. It's going to go out late this afternoon because it's already 4 o'clock, so it'll actually be kind of early evening. Usually my tradition is when I finish, or I should say not tradition, I should say my routine. When I finish my Facebook Live, I go down and have a cup of tea and I drink tea while I'm downloading to YouTube and getting my pictures ready and everything. Because I don't take my pictures till I'm done because I typically haven't done the card until I'm until I'm on camera. So I, I don't have, you know, pictures ahead of time and all that good stuff. So that is gonna be ever I this. I actually kind of like these little panel ones, probably the best. Now I do think I might be able to get away with a bow over here. So let's just try that. So Lisa, you're getting a little bit of rain too. Lisa's up north of San Antonio by a bit in Fair Oaks Ranch, I think. Okay, so let's get a little bow going here. And here here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just like kind of like what we did with that other one. I think that gives a lot of really nice interest. So I'm just going to put these pearls away because I didn't need the, Oh, there go my scissors. Sorry. I thought they were going to clang on the floor. Um, 
I just really didn't need those pearls today. This ribbon is enough. And I think part of it is, you know, I've got this little tiny pattern here, and then I got another pattern here, and then it gets a little bit busy if I start going with the um, with the pearls too. So there is, let's see if I'm in camera, there's card number four. I'll put that here, card number three. And card number two and card number one. I'm gonna pull these right off because we just don't need them. I'm gonna have to go back, back there and grab the little adhesive dots. But I think we just don't need those pearls. It was too much of a good thing. So Judy likes the, the bright colors. You know, I think what really works with this is the, um, Poppy Parade is a bright, so saffron is a subtle. And when you put them together, and you get just that little hint of silver shine in there, it just kind of works. So um, I'd love to hear your favorite. I mean, this is the simplest, um, card number one. Card number two has the diagonal slice, which I like. But I have to say, I really kind of like these the best. Card number three and card number four. But you can see how this makes just such a nice little gift. So you could, you know, obviously you would put your envelopes with that and then boom. And I used Biggest Wish stamp set. It's only $17. So if you are a brand new stamper, this is a great stamp set to get. It's photopolymer, which means you can see through the stamps. Those are the easiest to stamp with. This gives you kind of uh, a lot of the things that you're going to send. And if you are an avid stamper, or maybe you just, you know, you stamp fairly regularly. I mean, you've got these bold greetings as well as these kind of soft ones. And then you've even got this little, this little guy here, which I confess I haven't used. Um, so yeah, I think that um, you can place a $50 order. You can get a, um, this free pack of paper. This is my host code, just kind of jotted down. <laughs> Not very professional, um, but it's VKWUHZA. If you just go to stampinup.com and put that in, it will automatically go. Or you can shop at shopwithcandy.com and that goes directly to my uh, online store. But I hope that if you don't have a demonstrator already, if you're not a demonstrator yet, um, that you'll place an order with me. I do give thank you gifts with host code orders. And I thank you for joining me today for simple stamping that we did a little bit different. We did kind of a one sheet wonder with a piece of six by six designer series paper. And this is the ringed with love paper that you can get for free through the end of this month while supplies last. Now I don't, I haven't heard about this paper going on like low inventory, um, but I, I do love the paper. So that is it for today. I will be here again on Tuesday for more stamping fun. Don't forget to make sure you are subscribed to my email news. And I do endeavor to bring you not only great classes, but information that you need about what's going on in the world of Stampin' Up. So I wish you a very happy and safe weekend. Thanks again for being with me. Take care and God bless.